um, government, DA and related agencies, DAR, DTI, must come in, and uh, and uh, civil society organizations, mm. like uh, uh, you know, in one area, and, and you know, there are good stories. Huh? It's just a challenge of making it happen in more places. In San Jose, the San Jose City, in mm. FIC, uh, mm. four years ago, now organizing farming community don They plant onions, they plant uh, rice and corn. Four years ago, when they had a supply agreement, and, uh, and this is with the Jollibee Foundation, mm -hmm. yeah. a supply agreement to buy 60% of their onions. Uh, they sold 60 tons in 2008. Last March, they sold 245 tons. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's times four in a span of six, uh, four years. Times, times four. Mm -hmm. And then they're, ang kweto nila ngayon, natubos na nila yung mga alahas ng mga misis nila. In four years. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Yung isa, nakabili na ng isa pang ektarya. Mm -hmm. Yung isa, sinanla na sa kanya yung isang ektarya. Mm -hmm. yung, yung lahat sila, either may motorcyclo mm -hmm. or meron tricycle. Mm -hmm. And only in four years' time. Mm -hmm. And simply because we put together the support system together with the, uh, the National Livelihood Corporation. Mm -hmm. um, you had civil society organizations mentoring these farmers. Mm -hmm. Of course, you had the local government. Senator, let me just ask you, is that one way to combat the market or the prices being dictated by market forces? Kasi, right. kasi ba dati, farm to market roads lang ang iniisip natin eh. Pagdating right. nila sa palengke, bala na kayo. Pag That's uwi right. nila, That's right. lugi. That's right. And, and ultimately, and this is what I asked in 2010, after through the, the whole budget process, they were presenting farm to market road uh, budget, irrigation budget, mm -hmm. uh, training, etc. Mm -hmm. And I asked him point blank. And Secretary Alcala, in fairness to him, he has been very supportive no? uh, of, of, our, of, of our efforts. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I, I take off my hat to him. No? Mm -hmm. Tinanong ko sa kanya, after five years ba, anong epekto nitong lahat sa kinikita ng ating magsasaka? May bibili ba? Oo, oh, at mm -hmm. tataas ba ang kinikita mm -hmm. ng ating magsasaka? Mm -hmm. Dahil kung hindi tataas mm -hmm. ang kanilang kinikita at pareho rin ng kinikita nila, eh, walang saysay lahat ito. Walang mm -hmm. saysay itong irrigation project, walang saysay itong uh, farm-to-market roads. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and now, in their budget presentation, upping the incomes of rural folk is already number one. And that's how it is in Thailand. That's how it is in uh, Malaysia. That's how it is in China. It has to be, you know, you have to have concrete doables and benchmarking. Mm -hmm. We have to up our farmers' incomes by the end of six years, by the end of 12 years, by the end of 18 years. And these doables that you're mentioning, Senator, it may not be like so complex. No, no. But yung iba dyan, I don't know what the model is for the other countries that you visited, but somehow, tanggalin mo lang yung middlemen, yes. nakakatulong yes. talaga but, but eh. But before tanggalin yung middlemen, I think the, the real, ano is, uh, the real mindset paradigm shifting is, it has to be a mechanism of support and, and uh, focus on the farmer and the fisher. Right. Mm -hmm. Kailangan ganun. Hindi siya pe pwedeng, by the way, the farmer nga pala. Mm -hmm. Or by the way, you know, it has to be, uh, you know nga, a, a, a mindset mm -hmm. shift. Kasi siguro colonial, part of our colonial uh, past, no, na ang tingin natin sa farming, waklas. Ang tingin natin sa mga taga-probinsya, uh, Walang waklas. alam. Di ba? Walang alam. Mm. Pero yan ang mga nagpapakain sa atin. But how, yun na nga, Senator, how will you kung, ensure that? Kung, kung wala nang magpa-farming, mm. sabi ko nga, 57 years old na ang ating magsasaka. Pag wala nang magtatanim in 15, 20 years, saan tayo kukuha ng kakainin natin? Akala ba natin may export, may import natin lahat yan? Mm. And uh, okay. we have to farm some of our uh, yeah, exactly. viewers for their reactions. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's just harvest some of those reactions now. On Facebook, Rob Maghinang asks, what are the government steps to increase the yield of farmers and how will the government help the agriculture sector adjust to climate change? Okay, because we've had a lot of these storms wipe out a lot of our agricultural uh, areas, what, what do we do well, we when that happens year in and year we, out? We have to increase uh, crop insurance and we're doing that for 2012. Mm. I, I think we're doubling the amount of uh, uh, crops that will be insured. But you're talking about, you know, the possibility of crops being wiped out, right? That's and right. farmers being compensated for the losses. But what about, That's say, right. the advances in uh, agriculture technology or even genetics where they breed rice that are resistant well, to, that's right. to storms the use of, and floods. The use of high-yielding uh, high varieties, mm. introduction of that. You know, right now, 70% of our farmers still use ordinary seed. Mm -hmm. If you use high, 
high yielding variety, you can increase like a certified seed. You can increase your yield by 20%. Mm. So, so, so 30, almost 30% would be certified seeds, and then maybe 4 or 5% is hybrid. Uh, the challenge really is to introduce uh, different varieties that are high yielding in nature, but that will require more support for the farmer. That's why I'm saying the farmer has to be the focus. Mm. Because when you use high variety mm. uh, seeds, mm. you also need uh, more expensive in farm, farm inputs, like mm -hmm. more expensive, uh, you know, And the seeds themselves are expensive. Yes, yeah. yes. So, pero sabi nila, uh, but kailangan mong arugain, mm. ikalinga. That's mm. because ang yield naman, makakabawi siya. Mm. But again, there's also the, the, the culture of the farmer, which we also have to, again, make, you know, address by putting him in the center, mm. is uh, risk-averse ang farmer. Correct. Bakit ako pupunta sa certified? Sanay ako sa ordinary. Pag mm -hmm. nag-experimento ako dyan at nagkamali, at wala akong kakainin. Mm -hmm. Ito, alam ko ito. Mm -hmm. Kaya hindi na ako magbabago. Mm -hmm. That's where government, the local governments, and DA must come in and provide that network and, and the capacity building and the support so that he will transition mm -hmm. from his ordinary seeds and mm -hmm. go into mm -hmm. certified seeds or mm -hmm. high variety. We're going we're gonna to have to speed things up along because we're being asked to end. But uh, Chit Wan, I know, I know you know who Chit Wan yes, is. Yes. And she's asking, what about the coconut farmers? What are we going to do for them? Mm -hmm. Well, the coconut farmers, one, there's going to be massive replanting. We've been able to haggle for a, a larger amount for, for the coconut industry. Replanting is key. Uh, our trees are getting old. Two is multi-cropping. And Chit, Chit and I have been discussing this. Let's give them support for, alam mo ang, ang coconut, mm -hmm. sabi nila, mm -hmm. it's a social plant. Gusto niya marami siyang katabi. katabi. Mm -hmm. At pag magarami siyang katabi, mm -hmm. gaganda ang yield niya. Mm -hmm. increase ng 10 to 15%. Mm -hmm. So maganda sa ilalim ng coconut, yung uh, cacao or mm -hmm. coffee. Coffee. Okay. So uh, the secretary... Chit, chit one niya, eh. Kaya coffee. Oh. Yeah, secretary oh. is now pushing for more support for mm -hmm. our, uh, for uh, multi-cropping mm -hmm. sa coconut industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in the end, you know, ito nga yung sinasabi nila, eh. maganda yung idea ng coconut juice. Yeah. But, we have to, but we have to address the source. In fact, many are saying, uh, you know, all these groceries, all these supermarkets are saying, we want the products, mm -mm. but we don't know where the supply is. So, madaling sabihin merong demand. But unless you support the farmer and the fishers, mm -mm. who are the ones producing it, mm -mm. they're the weakest link here. Eh. You can have all the demand you want, but the supply will not be steady. Mm -hmm. The quality will be will will, will not be you know uh, uh, competitive, mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. So the support must be around the farming communities. We must build sustainable farming communities. Mm -hmm. Kahit 15 hectares yan, kahit 10 hectares yan, or 30 hectares yan, dyan mag-uumpisa yung, mm -hmm. yung uh, modernization ng agriculture. Senator, paulit-ulit nyo na hong sinasabi sa ilang mga talumpati ninyo that this is a very important issue. Pero hindi pa rin kinakabahan yung mga tao na food security is such uh, an important issue in our country today. Yes. Bakit kailangan paniwalaan to ng mga tao? Bakit kailangan naming maniwala na ito ay napaka-importanting issue na dapat pagtuunan ng pansin ng lahat, hindi lang ng gobyerno? Well, nakikita natin ang climate change. Sa Hagonoy, Bulacan at sa Kalumpit, Tens of thousands of hectares of fish ponds have been destroyed. We have to rebuild. We have to give them fingerlings, but it'll take some time. Magkakaroon ng problema sa supply. You know, rice. In 2008, nakapila, gusto natin bumili ng, ng, ng bigas, walang gusto magbenta. Kasi ayaw na magbenta, nag, 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 siguro nagsispeculate yung ibang mm. mga bansa. Na, ma, may pe, pambili tayo, pero wala tayong, ma, wala tayong mabili. Mm -hmm. Eh, ganun din. We, we go to the household. May, may pera tayo, pero wala tayong pambili. Walang, wala walang tayong mabili. Eh. Because of, you know, the demands of, 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 of production. Uh, and that's why it, this is critical. We, we really have to mobilize the, 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 the entire country uh, and address uh, food security. Um, and it can start in our backyards. You know, uh, I, I planted 20 square meters of, of uh, of ceiling la pangsigang mm -hmm. eh, hindi, lumalabas na sa tenga ko hindi ko na alam sa kung I had to kailangan kong pamigay etc but but, but uh, and then peanuts this just today yes kamatis <laughs> you know a, a a one hectare kamatis farm can yield 30 tons at 100 pesos per kilo which is when it's during the rainy season how mm -hmm. much is that that's 3 million for one hectare you don't have to be a poor farmer if you have the right science, mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. if you have the right support and you have the right market. Mm -hmm. no? um, sitaw. A one hectare of sitaw can produce four tons in 60 days. Two months. Mm -hmm. Pag four tons ka in, in, in one hectare, sabihin mo ng 25 pesos mm -hmm. per hectare, mm -hmm. ah, per kilo. Mm -hmm. Magkano yung four tons na yun? Magkano yung pakbit na naluto. Uh -huh. Tatlong, dalawang buwan ka na. ng sitaw, mm -hmm. tapos magtatlong buwan ka ng kamatis, tapos mag uh, tatlong buwan ka ng talong, mm -hmm. Eh, mahina asiguro ang anywhere between 90 to 120,000 pesos mm. per month neto. That, that is assuming that the weather cooperates and doesn't wipe out your crop <laughs> in the well, same way that that happens well, to Benguet right. most that's of right. the time, right? That's right. Uh, again, <coughs> then we have to have the science yeah. behind it. You have to have greenhouse mm. support. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, in Mindanao, we're in hindi ganun katindi ang mga bagyo or bihirang bumagyo, then we should have a plan. Hindi na ngayon, binabagyo na rin ang Mindanao. Hindi na nga eh. <laughs> anyway, Senator Kiko Pangilinan, Thank pleasure to have so you much. on prime time. Uh, of Para course, uh, we want to see that roadmap uh, implemented and become successful. In, someday, you may become Agriculture Secretary yourself. No, I, well, I want to support Prosy. Oh, okay. We don't want to <laughs> put politics. You know, that's yeah. the last thing we want to do. Well, repeat what everybody, the last administration. Well, just in did. case um, you can't run for re-election anymore. Pang, pang last term, right? Yep, up to 2013. There you go. We will, we will help in whatever way uh, we can. But I think Secretary Prosy deserves the support. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he's doing a good job, okay. and he needs all the support he can get, and we're giving it to him. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Forward na lang namin yung mga ibang questions. Yes. Yeah. Hindi na tanong. Salam. Come.